ओम शांति वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ दोज हु अराइव्ड इन मधुबन ज्ञान सर्वर जस्ट टुडे मॉर्निंग एवरी डे ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स आर राइडिंग फॉर दिस मार्च मीटिंग एंड प्रिपरेशन इज गोइंग ऑन सटली एंड फिजिकली सो दैट टू बिकम प्रेजेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ बाप दादा फुली चार्ज इजेंट इट इज सो दैट इज वाई वी ट्राई एवरी डे टू हैव मोर एंड मोर कैपेसिटी टू sit in yoga and to attend the classes as well although sometime we are tired and we choose which class we will be listening and which we will be missing right and today's topic do you remember what st- topic for t- this class small small things for creating big fortune did it create any question in your mind that why such conversation we are going to have or why this topic or you like this hmm because our university is very big university agree and our baba is very big baba and we are very big children hmm? in the sense because we are children of big father so therefore fortune which is being created for all of us is very big but wonder is that if we pay some attention watching how the fortune of many hundreds of the souls or you know tens of soul in front of us those who are before us how it was created and observation is that was created not just by doing big big things but that was created because they had attention on minor minor things and even till today those who are baba's special children whom baba says as ananya children they don't uh, seem to be busy in something extraordinary from the morning till night they are busy in doing what small small things but consistently and regularly and when we do something which is maybe very small small when i say does not mean small in size or but it seems very insignificant in comparison to big big efforts which we maybe were doing on the path of bhakti or sanyasis are doing they stand on one leg all together at a stretch for 3 hours 5 hours under the sun 35 degrees 50 degrees they just walk barefooted miles and go to shiva's temple so in contrast to that whatever we do is very small effort insignificant effort uh, but if we do it regularly without missing that helps creating very big fortune yesterday we had dadi with us and for everything she was making us to raise our hand isn't it like bab dada does yes so that everything is confirmed nothing is just talked like this but is confirmed okay are you agree with this do you do that why what she said so that we don't start sleeping in the class isn't it so she kept us involved in that conversation uh, so we come and become present but a uh, small attention we have to give so that we are alert as well we spend so much time we come to madhuban but if we don't pay attention on us to remain alert fortune will not be created to that much extent to as much it could be created 
So I was just making a list of the things in my mind and was talking also with many BKs. What do you think? What's very small for you, but that you know and realize has helped you to create a very big fortune. And if we put Mike here and start asking you, those who are here, at least more than five years, 10 years, yes, 15 years, they will be able to tell big list of such things. So first I tell what I could recall, then maybe you can also share, agree? Yes? Because not big, big lectures made us to come and stay here. Are you agree with this? How many? <laughs> I'm just going to copy Dadi, yes? And uh, the very funny thing is, wonder is that hardly we remember what we heard in the lectures when we came to Baba. Hardly we remember. And after a few hours, you will forget this class totally. Maybe after a few minutes, if you are asked, what did you hear in the class today evening at six o'clock, you will spend ten minutes to recall whose class it was. Yes? Because we are told and expected to forget everything. We are expected to forget everything else we listen except what Baba says us. So this, this has become very natural for us. So therefore not big amount of information or knowledge generally plays the role in helping us to realize those things which have brought us close to Baba. So one of such aspect is which Baba says, okay, you share the things which I share with you, I say to you, with others, fine. You tell them knowledge. You explain to them what is soul, what is supreme soul. But children, do you pay attention from the morning till evening to how many souls you gave? Sukha, happiness, solace. If you combine happiness and solace, it is sukh. It's not just that you brought someone to laughter by telling jokes or by telling some funny things, no. It means your presence and your meeting and your vibrations and your intentions during interaction with anyone were such that other one left much more better than he met you. That would be called as that you shared sukha. Knowledge will be forgotten. Points will be, of course, forgotten, taken away from the intellect after some time when new points are added into our memory. But this experience of solace remains with the soul because sukha is part of the soul. Knowledge in the form of words is not the part of the soul as eternal nature. Not soul is knowledgeful. The form of soul is knowledgeful, but that is more in the form of knowledge translated into wisdom, light. We, when we see the sun, we don't see wires or we don't see all the batteries or accumulators or which are making the sun give us light, right? We see just sun. So we say the sun is a body of light, it's source of light. Yes, with this light, there are many other connections, wires, etc. Similarly, the light of the soul, knowledge of the soul is in this form. But this experience of happiness, solace, is something which becomes part of our memory forever. 
that is why it is a very small thing yes we may give happiness we may not give happiness no one will say that why didn't you give me happiness or solace today when you met me no 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 one will demand that because this is not in our spoken agenda or written agenda or laws or principles yes this is our occupation that we have to share knowledge what baba has given us with others virtue but exactly we are not expected to give so this is a small thing but only on the basis of this small thing we are able to get what we are able to get blessing subtle signature sign of contentment coming from other and when the people around us are contented it's easy for us to become bodiless if someone is thinking waste about us because of something which happened wrong in our relationship today you sit down for many hours try to be bodiless but you will not even be able to have positive thinking not even speaking of becoming seed do you have this experience yes yes you you there was something wrong in the relationship and on that day you had good enough time given for yoga but no success so very first thing in this list of small small thing is making it a very natural nature sukh and how it is given how it is given okay we understand i have to give solace happiness subtle feeling of contentment but how it is given someone may ask how can i make people getting such kind of experience from me yes anyone because it's you are doing all this isn't it you have not come in knowledge yesterday you have come here prepared to meet baba so it means you are doing this so how that can be done so for this yes smiling okay but smile also comes through which effort we all want to smile throughout the day but <laughs> when such person comes whom we know that is such kind of a person then smile what instead of that size smile it becomes little centimeters are reduced yes yes so how you no know, we saw dadi yesterday when baba comes we see how baba is able to constantly give us that experience of solace the reason is baba himself baba is not trying to give baba is in that stage this kind of stage is although it is called bestower of happiness but act of bestowing is it means is the act of being in that stage as sun sun does not seem giving anything like yes it just shines shining is giving so when we ourselves from the morning till evening have attention on this small aspect that i am a soul i am a being of happiness i have to be in that very inner comfortable stage physical comfortable comfort cannot be guaranteed to any one of us for all 24 hours yes best is tried 
maybe 80 percent, 90 percent things would be done according to what suit our physical existence, but inner comfortable comfort is in my own hand. So by myself remaining in this stage, I am always naturally able to give others sukh and claim natural blessings from others. And that in turn helps me to have easy yoga. Because ways think, thinking of others about me brings me down. You can experiment this for a week, for two days, for three days. Second thing, Baba always says that children, you should be, you should remain decorated. Right? Have you ever heard this in Murli? Yes, you should remain decorated. Decorated with what? Hmm? Decorated with different virtues. And we have the list of virtues. Eh? 8, 12 or 36, as many as you understand or you remember the list of that, that is your set. Hmm? Some have the, this kind of jewelry set of 10 items, some have jewelry set of 20 items. So any amount of virtues you remember or you like, you can have that decoration jewelry, virtue jewelry set for you. But now what to do with that? Just small thing I share with you this morning we were for daytime meeting we were in Dadi's cottage Shanti one and someone was sharing something which that person read in uh, Gyanamrit. Gyanamrit is our Hindi magazine you know which is given uh, the general which is published every month yes so one beautiful thing was written in that book in that magazine was that you have TV set for watching you have sofa set for sitting, you have jewelry set for wearing, but your mind is still upset. So if mind is upset, you have many sets, but no sets make you sit or set properly. So if we think that it's not necessary because I'm, I'm so old, I know so many things, I do a lot of service and many know me, but I don't remain decorated. My eyes are not decorated with mercy, kindness or love. My mouth, the face is not decorated with the sparkle of happiness. My ears are not decorated, hand, it's no matter. Because I am so old, I am, I am well known and I do lot of service. No. In relationship, if you are wed with someone, okay, newly wed, what do you observe? In India especially, newly wed people for one month, one year, two year, all the time, whole jewelry on the body except night maybe. In foreign countries, not that much interest in jewelry or maybe it's somehow that's different. But after some years, after four years, five years, ten years, twenty years, th thirty years, things start reducing. The jewelry remains in the jewelry box and the bride becomes ordinary. And many such cases happen in the marriage that men start getting attracted to other women after five, ten years. Why? Because the bride stopped attention on looking good. 
that's fact here in logic world but here in our case is it so with baba what do you think who who we are for baba how many of you think that you are baba's bride tell me or you have not established this relationship yet with baba you are child you are student but you have not started thinking about wedding because it will be additional responsibility yes some like to remain as friends but they don't like to wed are you from that category or you believe in long lasting wedding what do you think again you have to raise hand <laughs> if you believe in long lasting relationships yes long life lasting whole life and what's that does student remain with the teacher whole life does child remain with the father whole life who remains with another whole life who has been wife till last breath they are supposed to be together we are not speaking of that word because everything has changed there now these things don't apply to how the things are developing there or have taken the way from corporate onwards but in our case if baba is my bridegroom and i am his bride are you not afraid that if you will not be decorated baba will be attracted to someone else more than you are you not afraid you should be afraid for a very good strong reason that it's not as so this is small thing a good bride knows this satiety knows that i have to always remain good looking and good looking here it is not physical but when we remain decorated with virtues then baba will have to remain engaged with me using me because i am ready image and baba has promised you make yourself image and i will give your vision and if i am not ready baba will be busy with others isn't it's a very strong reason to remain decorated although we are doing many other things but baba has to give vision also through us many billion souls of the world are there and they believe in different deities different angels it's not that only two three images baba will give vision to others no baba will use me if i pay attention to this also early morning like a very very good bride i get up at amrit vela and do this spiritual makeup of the soul like royal family people no? throughout the whole day no? they don't look discharged they don't look spent up even till night in outside world if they have high position maybe artificially or superficially they try to look very powerful and strong maybe inside they are empty but real royal families because of the specialities of the soul they look full so remaining decorated is a royal sanskar we are going to become divine family and then royal family highest kingdom where all will be decorated so this sanskar we have to develop from here sitting in front of baba emerging those feelings in my consciousness and then holding them throughout the day no matter what kind of physical action i am engaged in throughout the day 
third thing also which has relation with this aspect of my relation with Baba. Have you ever seen people going to some foreign country and marrying there? Have you seen? Yes? It's very common. Some go from America to Australia. They, are, they go for study or job and they are there for 10 years, 20 years. They get married ultimately there, isn't it? And sometime it happens that the language of the two persons it's not same, but gradually they learn the language of one another. In the beginning, when they got introduced to one another, they didn't know much of the language of their partner, but gradually, because it's life partner, life partner, is it possible your life partner and whole life, you don't speak the language what your partner speaks? Have you seen any such couple in the world? Tell me, please. How many? Two, three, one. So they will be called wonder of the world. You know, wonder of the world. But, but, it's important that if my Baba, who is my Baba also, who is my teacher also, Guru also, friend also, Baba speaks in this particular language. And in order to feel exactly what each and every word of Baba is saying, it's not must for me to understand the language in which he is speaking, but it helps a lot to come close. If I at least know a little bit, of what he is speaking, exactly in that way as he is speaking, without taking the help of translation. Of course, stage of soul and purity is must in that. It's not that all those who know Hindi, they are able to do more effort than those who don't know Hindi. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Baba always praises double effort maker children because of so many specialities in their effort and sincerity. Even if they don't uh, listen morally directly, they listen through translation. But because Baba is my bridegroom, if you start translating every song of love, you try to translate some song of love, how much you can? Hmm? Very little. So if I know I, I am with Baba for the whole life, then little, 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 few words, every week, few words, few expressions, which are unique expression and have no translation in the world. Listening Baba's Murli, I have to memorize, I can memorize and start repeating those expressions for Baba in the way as Baba speaks to me. Baba talks to me, Mithe bachche, Mithe bachche, Pyaare bachche, Latle bachche. Have you ever heard of this? Yes? I also start saying Latle Baba, Mithe Baba, Pyaare Baba, Mere Baba. This is very small thing, but you will find how it helps, how it inspires me, because I am able to sing the song of love of Baba the way as Baba is singing to me internally and sometime from here as well. Another small thing which I could recall, which I was in my mind, is that many, when come to Baba, they appreciate the importance of drishti, yes, because they felt power of drishti. 
some got unique experiences from drishti but gradually 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 with the old bikes we meet not all the time we just have a moment of pause we look at one another and stabilize in that consciousness and then start no fast life no because we have to become perfect quickly quickly and baba is underlining again and again let your eyes have shine the sparkle the light of the soul and supreme soul should be coming like rays from your drishti so using this particular instrument which is maybe which seem very small you know we generally try to give gift to others tolis to others and some knowledge books to others audio video materials to other but did i came from that meeting meeting that person giving this gift of drishti unforgettable drishti am i able to practice drishti in that way that i am so focused that my intellect does not get diverted into other details of that personality oh this is vip or this is ip this is important person or this is so good okay fine we are happy that some person has reached to that stage and it's interesting in knowledge but for me attention has to be on what the soul baba has sent me to serve the soul so this is very subtle mean of serving but very effective using this effectively i will be able to create my fortune because in less time the result will be more and everlasting because these days people get so much information from media from internet newspaper interesting things to read that words have lost the value but this experience of drishti cannot be given by anyone else except baba's children because only they know how to have conversation of the soul with the soul only baba's children no matter new or old can become soul consciousness and look at other with that consciousness so this is small thing but a very big means to create fortune for the others as well now everywhere in madhuban shantivan gyan sarovar na no? dadis images these photographs pictures are there on many walls and what is special in those pictures in in these images what is special what special ask from anyone in brahman family from any bk of brahman family who saw dadi who met dadi who had the fortune to be with her serve with her what do you remember very very loving powerful kind drishti drishti you can't forget yes so to make such drishti when we came to baba we didn't have such drishti but we understood how our drishti have a look focus of intellect can become such so 
am i paying attention to that also or i am busy just in other things which also may be are important but this is very 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 important because for doing any other kind of service for others you have to take permission from others are you agree to listen to us or do you want that we should tell us but for share, giving drishti for having such look and watching at others with you don't need to take permission you can do it endlessly limitlessly isn't it so the things which we can do constantly will definitely help in creating very high fortune for us so how we can create such drishti which bab dada has like projector like sun and which dadi had or which baba's special children have and about which there is memorial in the scriptures that children were born through drishti from look that's different story we will not go into that but memorials are there stories are there about that too so how we can make our drishti such we all have the experience that after 6 months of knowledge after year in knowledge 3 years in knowledge how how do we feel that this one is old in knowledge for some you feel asking how many years you are in knowledge but for some you feel this is this is someone very old in knowledge or old with baba and for someone may not be old in years but you feel this is very old soul old child someone who were who was here before as well yeah how do you feel that through drishti but how can we make that drishti the basis for that is unbreakable constant purity purity is the beauty of drishti is the light of drishti no purity no light in drishti it's like bulb is there but there is no light switch is off you see your photos when you came to baba before photos before your brahman life hopeless eyes eyes without spark eyes hmm, bit you know confused sometime even physical size also changes if you practice purity because purity means awakening of the soul when i awaken when my third eye opens light comes in these two eyes too they start shining because subtle energy brings radiation in physical energy too even physical elements also reflect light if purity is in the soul even the physical limbs you go on the stage sometime to meet baba to take drishti you no know, whenever we have such opportunity once a while now what we feel from the stage of course these lights are there but there is different light in addition to this light always you have this experience yes there is brightness not just of this light on the stage when baba comes but there is a very unique brightness light which we recognize only brahman know what kind of this light is because we have felt it from our own self 
we have seen how, how our material instrument had been transforming. It, it is becoming the instrument radiating light. So this light will give the message of light. By switching off, you can't advertise the instruments of light. So I have to switch on this consciousness of myself being a pure soul. And this helps Drishti to shine and remind others that you are a being of light. Purity is your true nature, real nature. And purity for us at this stage never means at this stage that just we check the chart of purity in respect with main, absence of main vice. No, that's fine, that has finished, gone. Goodbye to that forever. But now for us purity means even extra thoughts, waste thinking, mundane thinking, percentage of ordinary thought that should also gradually be reduced. If you just go to some visiting room and you have many, many items there put apart from the items of everyday use, there is sofa, sofa you need, but on sofa there are ten more items. There is table, table is needed, but on the table and under the table and left and right the table, there is something lying. How that room will look like? Hmm? Heavy. And if the room is in a very tidy condition, things are there, but they are also positioned very accurately, that room gives the feeling of, apart from physical cleanliness, the experience of, which is called dimension, third space. You feel space. Similarly, our purity, when there are no waste thoughts, people feel a unique space around us. Our mind is then like that visiting room where people find easy to interact and talk and be with us. So attention on purity to that much extent, in that way, on regular basis, will help us to make our drishti shining. And second side of this coin of purity is not any defect should be observed or brought into the intellect or more than a second, even f fraction of second. Okay, I see it, I know it, but don't allow it to enter because if it enters, drishti will spoil. It's like window of the house. If there are many things on the window, can you see from that window outside? Or are people able to see from window what you are doing inside? No. Window can be decorated with flowers, but not with other things, you know. So similarly, I can observe through the eyes appreciate, yes, this, I can see the differences, but not get engaged in a defect watching game, defect picking game, because defect picking drishti loses its brightness. It's like blackout. What happens in blackout? 
darkness and darkness, then people can't see the soul in you. You are speaking about soul, giving lecture of the soul, telling a lot about Supreme Soul, but they can't see because it's black out. So in order to make others see Baba, the Supreme Soul and Soul, we will have to say goodbye to this very pleasant habit which had been with us last 2500 years. Yes? Because if not so much, but we were engaged, yes? Seeing this defect or that defect, sharing. But we can say, goodbye Maya. Yes? Till next meeting. Let you be free and we be free. And final thing, in this list of small, small things, is that we all have experience that whenever someone comes to Madhuban or to centers or in our homes, if our homes are according to Baba's principles, that is atmosphere in our home is according to Baba's principle. We get up every day in the morning and we follow traffic control. We have some small space for meditation and we offer bhog to Baba. Then what do they say? They speak about atmosphere a lot. So this is what is next in this list of small things that wherever we go as the new creation of God we should be able to create new atmosphere within a second. Our presence in the train, in the flight, in the plane, anywhere we go new atmosphere instantly should be around us. It's a small thing, but it's a very big thing. Because we are not that same old population out of billions, we are separate. God has created us, we are mouth-born progeny, thought-born progeny of God direct creation the children of great great grandfather those who are being sustained and being taught every day directly with God from God so I go to the dining room I go to my own room I live with three persons four persons five persons six any but I should be able to create an atmosphere which is my atmosphere because of whatever Baba has put in me. When you go to some flower shop, yes, or any shop where there are some items displayed for sale, so sometimes there is so much amount of the same item, same item, you know, there are hundreds of mangoes lying and you have the freedom to choose and you start doing up, down, up, down and you find one very good mango which you look, which you feel it's the best mango for you. Similarly, there are thousand people around us but we will be selected we will be liked, appreciated and be victorious on the basis of something special around us. We don't have right to remain ordinary because we are in the showcase of God and people are doing, they have come to purchase in the market of Ravan, they are, they are searching for true knowledge, truth. 
and if we are ordinary we are very great but we remain ordinary we don't remain in that consciousness of creating that atmosphere just people will pass by and go to that baba or that baba or that temple or that ashram or will go to that pandit or to saint or to sanyasi but not to brahma kumaris so therefore this is our as baba says we have many birth rights success is our birth right godly sustenance is our birth right jewels of knowledge are our godfatherly inheritance but this is our birth duty duty from birth as we have taken birth from god directly we are new creation we have to always remain in that elevated atmosphere which we have to create ourselves and how that can be created how the atmosphere around us will be so special and unique that people will feel yes they are not like others they are they are special how what's the basis of that we are all human beings isn't it like many mangoes all are mangoes how i can be special mango out of so many how to how to give others the feeling of that you're a special being how yes you're doing this it's not that i am telling you you're already doing this we are just underlining these things how mhm mm yes the simple method for doing that is always there has to be balance of spiritual and physical because if there is only physical in the mind and words and actions you're eating but you are just eating in 100% consciousness of vitamin a b c food or this gravy or this calcium or fried not fried rich food or that food simple food you know all such thoughts but all any action i have to check that i am in the consciousness of a bodiless entity body and bodilessness physical act is going on but bodilessness is being practiced bodilessness body bodilessness or eating but experiencing reminding myself i am bodiless soul but i am feeding to this body so this bodilessness that is away from the body beyond the body even if i am in the body this experience of mine will create a unique atmosphere which also cannot be created by anyone else in the world they can make you laugh they can impress your hearts by doing such wonders but this atmosphere is created only when the souls are connected there the world beyond all limits the world of beyond sound the world of silence and when i am bodiless that connection is that which is something new in that atmosphere because whole atmosphere is charged with worldly vibrations whatever is in this world of five elements nowhere in no organization 
there is the atmosphere from similar to the world beyond. So America is old, Australia is old, Russia is old, India is old, all these things, places are old. Paramdham is new. So atmosphere like Paramdham and there is no body in Paramdham, there are only souls in Paramdham. And what's that atmosphere? So while doing activities, it's not possible to create that atmosphere completely. But as Baba says, Paramarth and Vyavhar balance. That spiritual duty and physical or the worldly duty or physical need should go hand in hand. So all these things, being when we practice consistently, regularly, simply, naturally, just in day-to-day -day life, then in no time we become very powerful, very worthy looking, very good Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. And these days people like to hear the time, you know, figures. In three months you can become fit, yes? If you do gym, if in two months you can lose these many kilos. In six months you can do. So if we do such kind of effort in just one month, you can become an angel, maybe small angel, not necessarily big angel, but small angel, but angel. And why not to become an angel if it's a season for becoming angel? It's an age for becoming angels. Confluence age is not just the age of effort, but it's the age now. Now the time of the confluence age is that, that part when we all can become angel and we have to become that. There is no way out. Yes? Okay? So, you are agree with this whole list? Yes? Okay, well, so now I think that it's good to sit in Baba's remembrance and one by one you see your experiences also in these things. And just create some thoughts which help you to find out more some such small, small things which can help creating big fortune. Sitting very peacefully and emerging myself in front of Avek Pabdada. I allow myself to become so light, shining, happy. I am a being of light, being of wisdom. The child of ocean of knowledge, the purifier himself has come in my life to make my highest fortune.
to have Baba, to have His knowledge in my life, as in itself is the biggest, highest fortune. You are the source, you are the treasure store for all attainments. There is no attainment in the world beyond your existence. Yourself have come in 